In just a few months, Alan the Expedition Lifeboat will begin a 2,000 plus mile journey from southern England to the High Arctic via Norway's coastline. This will mean, aside from the stresses and strains of the distance, entering difficult waters that even in summer months can lead to dealing with sea ice. These conditions can present real problems even to ice rated vessels, and icebreaker support can often prove vital. Alan has ambitions even further north, and there's been a key modification that I've held back from Alan's loyal band of subscribers and followers online, until now. Throughout this pretty substantial restoration conversion project aboard Alan the lifeboat, you can never really accuse me of having not uh, been creative with my ways of solving problems. And of course, because we're going to be destined on and amongst the ice of the high Arctic, I've come up with a very special plan about how we can make Alan absolutely unstoppable when we head off on the expedition itself. And I'm going to share that with you now. When I was first approached as a marine engineering consultant with a key focus on submarine design and operation, the project surprised me, but the quality of the concept reassured me of its credibility. This series of modifications obviously required expert advice, all focused on the goal of allowing Allen to operate beneath the Arctic pack ice in a fully functioning submarine conversion. This means avoiding the hazards posed by the 10 feet or so depth of floating surface ice. A number of key components are already in place, for example, the fully enclosed shell design, and all of the five hatches close fully with watertight seals. Also, I wasn't entirely honest about the two stainless steel ports in the stern capsule. They are not for ventilation. In fact, they are for the intake and expulsion of ballast water to control the depth Alan operates at underwater. You may have noticed that in a recent episode I've been working on Alan's mast. This will be retractable into the driver's console, and there'll be a periscope module mounted on top. Working alongside various military and civilian contractors, the coming weeks will see the majority of the installation complete, and Alan can then begin his most significant voyage yet, following an already eventful life of service. Stay subscribed for more updates on this project, and do get involved if you can, through channel membership and so on, as this work is far from low cost. That's all for now. Bye.